In other news, comedian and former Quezon City Councilor Roderick Paulate has been found guilty by the Sandigan Bayan for one count of graft and nine counts of falsification of public documents in connection with the hiring of ghost employees in 2010. Paulate and his driver Vicente Bahamunde has been sentenced by the 7th Division of the Sandigan Bayan between 10 and a half years or up to 62 years of imprisonment for falsification of public records of up to 30 fictitious workers assigned to his office. Based on the decision penned by Associate Justice Zaldi Trespese, the job order contracts and general payrolls are deemed falsified documents because the job contractors subject therein do not exist. The court said Paulate has taken advantage of his position and has used the falsified documents to obligate the funds and disburse them. During his first stint as a councillor after his election win in 2010, Paulate was removed from office after his alleged hiring of ghost employees from July to November of the same year. In 2018, the case against Paulate has been officially filed by the office of the Ombudsman. It was reported that he issued certifications after every 15th and end of the month for job contractors that rendered services for 40 hours a week. Paulate also designated Bahamunde as liaison officer that received in bulk the wages of the job contractors. During the said investigation, it was discovered that the office of Paulate received 125,000 pesos every payday, totaling to 1.109 million for those months. Verifications later revealed that no birth records have been found in the entries made in the personal data sheets of the hired job contractors. Their NBI application, school records, and their addresses could not be located as well. He has been perpetually disqualified from public office and has been ordered to pay a 10,000 peso fine for each count of the falsification offense for a total of 90,000 pesos.